Welcome to Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. President Obama began his visit to Israel Wednesday with a series of public statements affirming his commitment to Israeli government policies. In a joint appearance, Obama and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu stressed their shared stance on confronting Iran. If Iran decides to go for a nuclear weapon, that is to actually manufacture the weapon, uh, then it probably then it will take them about a year. We prefer to resolve this diplomatically, and there's still time to do so. Iran's leaders must understand, however, that they have to meet their international obligations. And meanwhile, the international community will continue to increase the pressure on the Iranian government. The United States will continue to consult closely with Israel on next steps, and I will repeat. All options are on the table. In saying it would take a year for Iran to obtain nuclear weapon, Netanyahu appeared to be altering his own timeline on Iran to conform with President Obama's. Citing a, quote, unbreakable bond with Israel, Obama vowed to extend the billions in annual U.S. aid. He also made no mention of illegal Israeli settlements on occupied Palestinian land. Earlier today, a pair of rockets fired from the Gaza Strip hit the Israeli town of Sidarot, damaging property but causing no injuries. Obama's now in the West Bank for talks with Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas. Ahead of Obama's visit, a group of Palestinian activists arrested a new tent camp aimed at stopping the expansion of West Bank settlements. The camp falls within the E-1 settlement zone, which bisects the West Bank and cuts off Palestinians from their own land. Israeli forces dismantled previous encampments earlier this year. Addressing President Obama, Palestinian lawmaker Mustafa Barghouti said the protests will continue until Palestinians win their freedom. We're here to rebuild the village that the Israelis destroyed on our land. We're here to send a message to President Obama. Our struggle, our nonviolent, peaceful resistance will continue till we are free. And it is his duty not to shy away and to see the Palestinian struggle for freedom. It is his duty to see the Israeli apartheid system and the system of segregation that his ancestors suffered from. It is his duty to tell the Israelis enough is enough and double standard is unacceptable. Settlements have to be removed and Palestinian freedom has to be achieved. It's unclear if Israeli forces will raid the encampment while Obama visits the West Bank or wait until he leaves. One sign at the camp addressed to Obama reads, quote, you promised hope and change. You gave us colonies and apartheid. Thanks so much for watching this report from Democracy Now!, your daily independent global news hour. We don't accept advertising or corporate funding, but rather rely on donations from viewers like you. Please make your contribution by visiting democracynow.org. We need your support today to keep bringing you this hard-hitting, in-depth reporting.